Hello. Hello. Do you want to explain to the lovely viewers what this is? So we have a new song out. It's called Yours. We're going to put together a playlist of songs that we both love. We're going to litter a few of our own songs in there as well and release it as a public playlist for people to listen to. I think it's going to be interesting. I Possibly. think I know what you're going to pick. Can we make it more of a game? Can we vote? We both have three... <sighs> Call out. So, it's like a weird musical game of battleships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got to guess the artist and the song. And if you get an artist, what we say, a point? Yeah, a point for an artist and a point for a song. Okay. And whoever's got the most at the end wins. All right, take your first shot, Gittins. I think you would pick Lauv. Oh, I'm looking right at your smile. Um, Paris in the Rain. What's yours? Phineas. What they'll say about us. Well, I'll tell you what. You're close. Okay, okay, second shot. I'm gonna guess. I feel like you would pick a John Mayer song, but then I don't know which one. Gabrielle Aplin. Oh, I feel like you love her, but you might have actually forgotten to put her in the playlist. That's what, <laughs> <laughs> that's what, <laughs> I'm so right with that. Well, I've said it, I've said it. Um, Gabrielle Aplin, please don't say you love me. Bye. I'm gonna go with Alec Benjamin. Death of the Hero. <sighs> right, I've got a final guess for you. Taylor Swift. I think you've forgotten about this song. Go on. The artist is Ed Prosek. So, okay, I think in conclusion, I can tell you that you got no points. And you got no points, fortunately. Well, no one got any points. Oh, no, I, wait, hang on. No, you guessed Phineas, so you got a point. So you won. God damn. You win. Okay, you well, win. good game, right? It's not. I good. feel like it's got legs, but it needs a bit of tweaking. <laughs> so we're going to put together a playlist of songs that we both love. You tell me the song why you love it, any story you've got with it. You won the game, so okay. you can start. My first song is Droplets by oh. Lewis Watson, featuring Gabrielle Aplin. That's a good, that's a so good, good playlist that was the... choice. This is just because it, it's like, it's a newer song, but it mm -hmm. sounds like a song from my childhood. And it's called, mm -hmm. I Won't Run From It. And it's Big Red Machine. Okay, right, your second I song. I like that. It's okay. a newer one. It's by Gavin James. Oh yeah. Uh, it's called Boxes. If you listen to it lyrically, it stands for like everything that we do. Like the business we're in of like chasing dreams and not giving right. up. It's like bang on. Every lyric he says, I'm like... Gavin James. That's, that's us. I saw him live uh, a few years back. He was really good, really good. Right, my second song. Oh, such a good song. Will We Talk, Sam Fender. Oh. So good. The first album he put out, well, wow. It was between that and bought the borders, yeah. but no, that, that no, that's one, a good choice. Well, we thought that is can't go wrong. No. Did you see his social yeah. distance headline gig he did? The pictures of that looked so cool. I think from a stage perspective, it was weird, but from the audience, the idea of just having it's your own little insane. bubble with your own friends, yeah. not being shoved around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds great. It sounds better, doesn't it? My next song is by a guy called Plested, um, who is an insane, insane songwriter. Uh, Either you love me or you don't. Mm -hmm. What a banger. We were at Barn on the Farm and we were yeah. stood, what, like five people down from it? It was, it was him and um, we were watching Lewis Capaldi main stage and it, yes. was, it was all the writers. It was um, JC uh, Stewart. JC Stewart, yeah. They were all like stood literally like maybe two or three people away. Bangers. Bangers and mash. Bang. All right, go on. Next song. Okay, this is a, uh, mm, again, it's good. I'm proud of this. Love is a wild thing. Casey Musgraves. I'm glad that's in there. I feel like people need to, to be in there. That. That's got to make the cut. Right. My next song is by Holly Humberstone. Why did I not put any of that in the playlist? I know. I know. <laughs> I should have guessed that. No. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, a banger. I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, so Holly Humberstone, my, the song choice I went for was Overkill. I popped one in here, but different. Um, it's called Sunday Afternoon, Katie Kittermaster. And if you haven't heard it, yeah, yeah what a voice. She's got a really distinct accent yeah. when she sings. That I yeah, love. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really it's nice. So Lyrics are really... Good. It feels very like the early Edge stuff. My next choice is the opposite end of the spectrum to, to what you've just oh, yeah. inputted. Yeah, the artist is Stormzy. Blinded by Your Grace, part two. Oh. Which is uh, just, I, I every time I listen... That. I should have guessed that as well. I know you like that one. And, he, uh, and Stormzy sings in it and it's beautiful. Okay, this is the one where you got a point. Phineas. And I think yeah. you should have got this. Is it Lost a Friend? Yeah, I Lost a Friend, yeah. Yeah, because it's just, that was the first one I heard of him. 
<laughs> this is an explicit song, but it's fine. It's not like whack. It's not that level of explicit. It's one of these songs that has a swear word in it that I kind of agree it needed it. It is new, Jeremy Zucker, oh. Supercuts. I don't want to be someone who makes... It's so catchy. So yeah, that's It's Supercuts. really good. My next song is by a guy called Foy Vance. Oh. I know. And the song is She Burns. Oh, yeah. Again, it's I should have... So good. I, it's funny when you say all these songs, I know you love them. And I just can't... Yeah. I couldn't think of them. He was one of the writers of Alicia Keys' Underdog as well. I do believe. He vibes with Ed a lot as well. He does, yeah. He looks a bit like a Peaky Blinder. Yeah, with his hat. Yeah, he the, looks quite muscle. a lot like, I think he's called Arthur in the show. I don't know if you're editing this, find a picture of them and put them side to side. It's, it's surprisingly <laughs> accurate. Right, this is my final song that I'm going to say. I don't think you'll actually guess this song. I don't think you'll have realised. This is actually, and it's got, a, it's got a really weird name. I'm not even sure what the song means. 29, hashtag Stratford APTS which I think maybe is abbreviated for apartments. Is it? Bon Iver. Yeah, Bon Iver. Yeah, it's and it's got a parts. line in it. It's just a really nice song and it's got a line that on the production. I don't know exactly what they did, but they made it really thin and kind of like you're crumpling a piece of paper. That's what it sounds like. And he sings the words. He goes, hold a note you wrote and know you buried all your alimony butterflies. I'm glad that Bon Iver has made it onto the playlist. He's made it a few times because he's made it through Big Red Machine as well. You've got one more. I don't think you necessarily guess this. I listen to it all the time. My last song choice is by an artist called Birdie. The song that I am picking is called Words. Words. And it is stunning. You've I mentioned love it. this to me before, but I haven't explored it properly. That is my final choice because Words. I love it. Going out with the band. That is a pretty good playlist. I would actually listen to this. I would click play on it and. I mean, I hope you would because 10 of the songs are your own choices and I have <laughs> basically the same music taste as you. So it's 20 songs that, that we true. both love. I think it's a nice blend of songs I wouldn't put in a playlist. I think it's a good myself. mix. Mm. Yeah. There's a big mix of artists, which I think is just a reflection of what we listen to. Our Definitely. artist listening is all over the place. It is all over the place. Okay, I have one final song that I want you to pick for this playlist. Okay. I want you to pick a song that we've released. Anything. It can't obviously be yours because we're going to be putting that in the playlist. So it can be anything from the last single we released or it can be right on back to the Overture EP that we did. Uh, and I'll pick one as well. Okay, I've got this straight away. Because uh, we played away. a played a gig recently and they played our music on a speaker when we'd finished because we told them about it and this came on and I'd forgotten about it and we both we all these songs came on we both forgot and this is one that I really enjoyed at the time it's called we were young and it's like I don't know I just like it's kind of a mismatch of multiple kind of ideas and productions and instruments it's, it's kind of like that kind of feel of a song okay so what was you gonna choose? I'm going to throw it back to Blonde. Uh, I knew you would, yeah, you like the Blonde. Over three, but I, I just love it. Right, you have got to the end of here, then there's no reason that you should not listen to the song because you're obviously pretty interested. Mm -hmm. Listen to yours, stream it. When you go to bed, leave it playing on silent under your pillow. That's always a good thing. And um, get our streams up and add it to your favourite playlist. And, and I think... Oh, click the follow button on our Spotify because... That's that is important. I did that forget helps. that. Burbank playlist. Burbank playlist. Sorted. Check. <laughs>